Okay, so question D, they're kind of asking us to make a comparison in a way, but comment on the statement that virtually as many people, 10.8%, would prefer to live in Europe as in Australia, 11%. And where this comes from, let's find it in the article. Here. Virtually as many people, 10%, would choose to live in Europe um, as other countries. So here we're looking at Europe and Australia, 10.8 and 11%. And they're pretty damn close as it is. And remember that with these kind of surveys, because it's only a sample, not the population, we're going to have some uncertainty. We're going to have a confidence interval. So if we keep in mind that both of these are basically asking the whole group of 750, it's going to be similar to this question up here. We looked at just the Australians at 11%. So 1 over the square root of 750 gave us a margin of error of 3.7%. And the difference between Australia and Europe is actually only 0.2 of a percent. That's way smaller than the margin of error. So I'd expect to find that it's not statistically significant here, that basically there's no difference between the two. It could be Australia or it could be Europe that's more popular. But let's think about how we'd calculate it and show it. So we might think about this flow chart again. And again, in this particular poll, we're asking all of the New Zealanders where they would prefer to live. And we want to know, is it a dependent or independent choice to pick between Australia and Europe? So if somebody picked Australia, and they had that at 11%, and then they changed their mind and they decided to pick Europe instead, does that change the percentage that Europe has? it does. And so that's kind of the equivalent of flopping between yes and no. This is going to be a dependent claim, so we're going to use two times the margin of error. So let's take a look at calculating this. So we know our sample size here is 750, and like we've already calculated, 1 over the square root of 750. is going to be equal to roughly 3.7% with some rounding. So um, we're going to look at making a comparison between these. So the MO rule, MOE rule we're going to use is 2 times 3.7, which is going to get us to 7.4%. Because again, these are dependent choices going between yes or no, or going between Australia and Europe as your choice. So we need to use twice the margin of error. So the next thing that we have to calculate then is the percentage difference between those two. So that's 11 minus 10.8, which is just 0.2% difference. So I'm going to use this to make my confidence interval around it, knowing that I can go 3.7 above and up to 3.7 below. So if I draw up my confidence interval, I get 0.2 in the middle at the top. Maybe I won't make it as long. At the top, I'm going to get 3.9%. Um, and at the bottom, I'm going to get negative 3.5%. So we're saying here the difference between the number of people who choose Australia over Europe or Europe over Australia is going to be somewhere between 3.5% of them prefer Europe and up to 3.9% of them prefer Australia. And one thing you'll notice key here is that that's a negative number, that's a positive number. So my CI includes 0. There's no significant difference. between them. Okay, so how do I put that into words to justify it? Because they are going to be looking for you to communicate your thinking clearly here. So I would say I am 95% confident that New Zealanders are between 3.9% more likely to 
to prefer to live in Australia and up to 3.5% less likely to prefer Australia compared to Europe. So this does support the claim that virtually as many people um, would prefer Australia or Europe. So here we're just confirming that idea that, yeah, by instinct, 11 and 10.8 are really close to each other, and my confidence intervals prove to me that they're actually pretty similar, and I can't actually tell, because I could have up to 3.9% people who prefer Australia, or up to 3.5% more people who prefer Europe. So it's uncertain. I couldn't tell you which one actually, which country is actually more preferred, or I guess Europe's not a country, but which area is more, more preferred. So Again, this was a dependent comparison. And again, that's because if somebody changed their mind from Australia and decided to take Europe instead, it changes both of those numbers. So that's why it's dependent. I'm going to use my 1 over my rule of thumb, or 1 time 1 over square root of n, and then times it by 2 to get the margin of error I need for the difference looking at the difference between the two numbers and noticing here that it includes zero, so there is no difference between them, it does support the claim that it's virtually the same.